find the bracket for tonight. Obviously, uh, we got T versus DeBuzz happening here, but also on the other stream, we got Mars versus Louis Money happening. That's also in winners. Uh, Cola has already entered top 16 yep. with that with his last victory. As expected. And we got uh, MK Leo versus Cosmos happening very shortly. Mutes, who I'm shocked by, Mutes actually lost pretty early on uh, in the tournament. Had had a had a had a kind of an upset loss to Kiros. Has now come all the way back. He's beaten Goblin, and then he beat Shiny Mark, and now he's playing Quid. Uh, Quid, a very talented young Pokemon trainer from New York. Nakat also uh, threatening to make top 16. What the heck? What is going on in this tournament? You, you know what? Love to see it, man. People really showing up for this one. That's what you gotta do too. Like you really got like main stage is definitely the event to. Even in a sense, if you're known, have a resurgence too. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? With a big placement. Like, not all about making top 16. The fact that you're going to make it to the championship Sunday, getting in that, um, you know, that top 16 is going to be a great look. And here's the look. It looks like the buzz is going to give us first the Rosa coming out to play. I think one of the characters he certainly favors, you know. With the buzz, you never know, like, who he's feeling. Like, could be the Min Min, could be the Olimar, but. You know, even just kind of picking up from last week, I think Rosa was definitely a character that served him pretty well in that run he made. Definitely. He, he just has a mind for the game, and he sort of sees the game through all these different perspectives. And they're such different characters, right? It's not like they're sort of within the same wheelhouse, like a Ryu, a Ken, and a Terry. Like Rosalina, the Buzz, or I'm sorry, Rosalina, Olimar, and Min Min, three very different characters in how they operate. So the Buzz able to throw a lot of things at T. We'll see what sticks. Right now seems to be doing well with Luma. Oh, I love that. Love it, man. Those puppeteer tactics paying off right now. T107 really being kind of kept at bay. Uh, these two have definitely had some classic battles in the past. Buzz has told me that he thinks T is one of his more frustrating opponents, but, you know, for the Buzz, as talented and gifted he is, battle-tested, like nothing's out of the realm of possibility for him, just snatching up that hydrant and then ascending T into outer space. Great conversion. It's an easy neutral air into an up air. DeBuzz is going to take that every single day. And now only 53%, which is not bad for DeBuzz at all. As long as he stays away from Pac-Man's uh, tricks and japes, he should be okay here. Taking the Hydrant, and now the trick is made clear. You know, he reveals his hand. 100%. That's what this comes down to. He wants to be able to use that dimensional pull. Or yeah. gravitational pull. Yeah. I think Gravi that's what it's called. Yeah, gravitational pull. That's the he, one. Yeah, he's not really trying to allow, you know, like, play the back and forth game, like who's going to hit the hammer or the Hydrant, who's going to take full <laughs> control of it. He just wants to take it out of the equation permanently. Already serving him pretty well. 102 right now, though, trying to land safely. He does just that. That middle platform really helping him out. But here comes the key. Not going to get the stock, man, but definitely helping racking up that percent. Trying to use those stir bits to disrupt. He's going to dash tech mm. through him and survive. I'm glad the buzz didn't try and challenge that. That dash tech is right. so, like, <laughs> just give it up. There's <laughs> no end lag. He just comes out of it right away. Gets hit by the key, but not too bad. But the Luma is gone. And that Luma is just constantly just off the stage. It feels like there's been... Very little Luma presence besides the start of the match where, you know, you got a couple jabs. Yep. Trying to take the Hydra, but can't do it. Going to take it there and grabs the Apple. There's the throw, but no kill throws on pac man Getting everything right now. Ooh. All right. There's a big trade, 163. This Rosa Luma really living. And again, gravitational pull. Both. The huge X factor here we're seeing, Coney. That's really keeping T, uh, T in check. Yeah, he seems very prepared for this matchup, if I'm being honest. It feels like T hasn't quite figured out how to deal with the dimensional pull yet. Oh, yeah, goes for the grab. Not going to land. Can't grab the star. Oh. Apple will land on Ro Rosalina. So now the buzz still firmly ahead, but at least T gets to work on the second stock. Yeah, just got a tad bit overzealous right there. and going to be costly. And these openings that can be created for T, don't let him get started, man. We already know what this man is capable of. Those combo strings, they can be incredible. Incredibly deadly. And you see the Hydrant not being a factor at all. 131 for T. The Buzz lurking, wanting to get that oh. finish and blow. Oh, but the Galaga providing some additional hits. I was worried about a side B. I thought, I thought T might mm. let it rip, you know, but not quite. Going to just take that Hydrant. Tries to pop the up smash, but this lead is slowly dwindling. There it is. T is playing so perfectly around the Buzz here. Rosalina not able to land this kill. Remember, the first stock was lost to the, uh, it was a neutral air into up air. Oh, no way. Perfect, 94 right. is the kill percent. T fighting back it's, in a huge way. It's so wild how he just literally just harasses him to that extent and then just drops down and chucks it again. You know, T 
the, it's all about the timing for him because it's not as tricky as it looks, but man, this man's timing is just immaculate. And he has dragged this all the way back into the realm of possibility, but trailing a considerable amount. And just like that, Ooh. Cody, in the lead as we are getting closer to that two minute marker. It feels like DeBuzz lives and dies by his defense, and DeBuzz's wall has just been sort of penetrable uh, for T, who has just found a way to burst through. And, you know, this is no disrespect to DeBuzz. We saw T earlier today against Shiny Mark make a three-stock comeback on her first three-stock. Yep. That's pretty nutty. So you already know, like, he is no stranger to playing, not only playing from behind, but getting Ws from behind as well as DeBuzz. Maybe on the receiving end. Oh. Hold on now. You don't want to pop the dimensional, you know, the gravitational pull because he's worried about, you know, sort of mistiming it yep. and getting stuff for it. You can see the fear in DeBuzz just not trying to mess with it. Just so scary. One opening presents itself, and that's all it's going to take, man. Just landing right there. DeBuzz shaking his head. Can't believe he let that game get away from him. But that's just how T operates, man. Like, no lead is really safe against this yellow bald menace. Just being able to have the opportunity to pull out that bell at any time, claim it, put it in your hand, and put the fear of God into your opponent is just such a powerful feeling for T. We're here to game two. Right. The buzz, I mean, again, he just, he's so good at constructing the fortress, and it's just, can you break down the walls? That's what it comes to. If you put a chink in the armor, man, a crack in the wall, it can all kind of come falling down for the buzz, and that's something T's really, really good at, like, and patience, you know, second to none. You know, I think honestly that's one of the bigger things too. That might be a little understatement stated, is how patient the Japanese players really are. Oh God, yeah. Like they, they like, have to be. You know what I mean? They will go down to that last few seconds of a match, you know, every single time, and not think twice about it. That's just something they kind of be conditioned to uh, expect. Not only within their region, but they'll come over to America and have to deal with some of those play styles. And be like, eh, this is nothing new for me. So they have to do it, man. I mean, Japan is such a patient, calm region. Yep. Uh, a lot of them playing very defensive sort of keep away characters. So it's something that's sort of, you know, bred into you after tournament play. You're just sort of conditioned to uh, play that way. And T showing absolute mastery of it. Out the PS2 for the next game. A lot more space here. DeBuzz, I, I think, trying to get that early lead again and then maybe just play a bit of keep away All right. in a great spot so far. Definitely doing a good job right out the bat. Similar to start to what we saw in the last game, man. But... Really all about maintaining it. That's where the challenge for DeBuzz is going to come. And he's just running through. <laughs> putting these aerials oh, Jesus. out. Yeah, he is just fearless right there. He looked like Cola for a second. He was just bro. fighting. I ain't never seen a sword look like a Hydra, but damn it. If you got something different, you got something different. I ain't mad at you. They're not oh. the Galaxia. Oh, wow. Grabs it out of the dimensional pull. Kind of surprised by that. Going to pop that up, B. And after that, uh, that unorthodox string we saw from T, basically evened it back up. Trying to roll through. Oh, good catch. Okay. Going high. Yes, he ah, is. Ah, going very high. Very smart right there. Puts the Hydra down. Air dodging through. Oh, the Hydra actually, the water off of it kind of interrupting the Buzz's landing. Gets the back air trying to get rid of the Luma. It is gone. Those Lumas Throws are down the apple. Ooh. The way he eats them, he treats them like them little ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> man, I, got a, I got a snack, bro. Yeah, those Lumas are getting no play time at all. Oh, that's it. Good forward air there from the Buzz. Catching T off guard, which is not something you're going to see very common. Yep. So oh. Just taking the initiative, being hella aggressive. Oh, wow. my God. Bro, the key shenanigans just keeping it for the last possible second. Really catching the buzz off guard, too. Like we talked about, the buzz called T off guard returns the favor immediately. Didn't even know you could do that. Forward air into key is just T sees the game in a different way. Man, bro. Tries to go for the dash tat. Not going to land. Who's going to get the next big opening? We knew that this set would be somewhat less, you know, a somewhat slower paced, yeah. right? We got a very fast paced set with Cola versus Meister. A bit of a palate cleanser on this one. You can see it here, both of them trying to find their opening. But you know what? The, the cool thing about this, even though like it is, you know, comparatively to that last set, it does play like a snail's pace. It's still very good. Like it's still very sure. exciting to see the interaction between the two, especially like the minor adjustments having to be made and just kind of picking and choosing when those big burst moments and opportunities do present themselves. It's so considered. It really feels like these guys have played each other uh, very often and sort of know each other's habits. Yeah. They've they fought here so many times, and the buzz is just uh, trying to overcome his uh, his common foe. We'll see if he can keep it up right now. Three percent between them. I mean, we're coming down to nearly four minutes left, but we've got you know half the stock still left. Yeah, you know, two and a half just. 
Jeez. A lot of damage being done. Luma on the receiving end of a lot of that. Is trying to mix the buzz up a little bit. Wisp with the grab. Going to eat the dash attack. Oh, Hydrant trying to cover that. But the buzz just slicing through it to his credit. Not able to get the, uh, maybe went for the absorb. Wasn't, wasn't quite there. I have a feeling that a lot of these games might just go down to, uh, to last hit, you know? Because it just feels so back and forth, so slow. Yeah. Uh, and maybe the X Factor is just, it does feel like Pac-Man can find the easier kills than Rosalina. Not to say that like it's easy for Pac-Man to do, but T just seems to find them easier. Yeah, it I just, mean, his consistency behind it is what, it's makes unreal. Him, what makes him so special. Like one of the things we truly do marvel at. Uh, the buzz obviously paying that the right amount of respect, as you have to do. Oh, that could have been a big catch. Tried to punish him, landed on that platform. Tried to do it again, but the Hydra <laughs> actually bailing him out in all these instances. The buzz is just sharking him to him with all those up smashes, trying to get under the Hydra. Right now, 109 to 89. Oh, there we go. Luma up smash is going to do it. And now the buzz pulling away slightly. Can he make anything of this lead, or is T just going to answer right back? Well, that has been a little bit of a common occurrence between the two, so if the buzz can really extend this one big time. That'll be something special to see. Not even going to try and challenge again. That dash attack, so reliable for Pac-Man. He wanted the bell there, but threw it a little bit too far off yep. screen and couldn't chase it. Now he's got to charge another one, which means the buzz should be able to punish him if he tries to do it too close. Just double dash attack. God, there's just no end lag on that. Not at all. Pops right out with the uh, with the neutral air. If the buzz just holds center, it's going to be tough for T to kill. Obviously, you still have up smash, which could kill at any uh, at any position, but it's just going to be harder to hit as opposed to like you know a, a bell forward smash at the side. Not sure if forward smash will kill at center. God, T is just so patient. Yeah, the way he's threatening with the <laughs> like, yeah, and that's why because eventually oh my God. he just wears you down and you make a, a mistake you're not expecting to make, right? Just so unconventional. It's exhausting with, again, and that goes back to what I harped on earlier, Cody. Like just being so patient, like it's just something he's just so conditioned to doing. So down to the wire we go. Just entered the two minute mark. Anybody's game, just such a small separation right now in percentage to both these guys. Yeah, I would not be surprised if this ended up going to time. Uh, I mean, the, the, the percent's going so, so low. I mean, it's just rising so slowly. And now we're at 100 seconds left. So every second that passes is 1% closer. We are done to finishing this game. And we'll see if, uh, we'll see if the buzz could keep this up. He's got a lot of damage advantage over T, but T, if he gets that Galaxian, if he gets a ship or a bell or yep. something, he can turn this right around. The buzz got to be well. I mean, both these players got to be well aware of how that Whoa. clock is ticking down. No way that's going to do it. Okay. Now he's alive, but, but just he, barely. But he took the percentage lead. That might right. be the bigger deal of the two. Oh, my God. The buzz. What a play of that down there. Luma assisted, getting the job done and getting him on the board. That was nuts. Seemingly out of nowhere, the neutral air into the down air, I really thought that that might actually be going to time, not because it had to, but because it felt like one of those things where, okay, both of them sort of realized the time, they realized the percent, and they're both playing for that win condition. See the up smash just maybe a few percent off from getting the KO yeah, on like, either side, right? Because if Pac-Man had a little bit more rage, that might have done it. Yep. That was nutty. Good stuff to both. All right, the buzz down, but certainly not out. All right, now 1-1 one, one between these two. So now we basically have a best of three. Oh, and I think Louis just beat Mars. He did, he yeah. Did. Yeah, I see the pop-off. Louis Money has just put Mars into loser's bracket. And Louis, I, if I'm not mistaken, that means he is going to uh, join top 16. He's going to wow. join Cola and uh, some of these, uh, and the winner of this set in top 16, winner's side for tomorrow. You see a huge crowd forming around that. Cola congratulating him. Yeah, you know the crazy thing about that is like earlier me and Haz had a set with him on stream, and he almost lost to Captain L, like the first game, like he lost Word? that, yeah, okay. pretty convincingly, and then bounced back the next two, but yeah, he almost found himself and loses pretty earlier, able to keep his life afloat, and now you see him getting to enjoy and reap some benefits, that is huge. So just to give you guys some other updates while we decide uh, the stage for the next match, it looks like uh, loser of L is going to be, so the loser of this match is going to play Nakat, uh, Wait, no. Oh, that's loser of I. Never mind. Loser of L, the loser of this plays Moxie okay. to get top 16. Uh, loser of I is going to play Nakat, and I is Leo Cosmos. Mm. So they're going to fight Nakat for top 16. Leo Cosmos. We need to have that on this stream. Please. Production, I want Leo Cosmos on this stream, please. 
I'm sure somebody can make it happen. Also what's happening, uh, Schroeder and Lima are currently playing. Winner will play Meister for top 16. A lot of matches left to be played. Everybody's so hungry trying to make it into tomorrow's final bracket. Trying to make these big plays, man. Just so much on the line. Here we go. Game number three right now. Definitely in for another long one for sure. I mean, they're both, you know, it's just a, a battle of just kind of patience here. Like the It's attrition. The, yeah, the buzz master just kind of putting up the wall, and then you're seeing T just find these ways to kind of, you know, slowly but surely crack it away. Wasn't able to finish it in that second game, but still. Give himself a nice opportunity right now. I think this one's so fascinating because both of them are apt to do this to other people. Just sort of set up a wall. I mean, T can play aggressive. He can play fast if he wants to. But against top, top people, he'll sometimes slow it down considerably. But because both of them are uh, capable and very adept at slow play, it means that it's just a very calculated game of chess between the two. Yeah. One is piloting the Luma, and the other is piloting all the projectiles at their disposal. Oh, that grab just narrowly missing. Unfortunate for T. Nah, 30% lead right now for the buzz. Building up. Mm, let me get that water, bro. Man, so I'm thirsty. Got to hydrate, baby. Literally took the hydrant. Everything. Just stole it away. The buzz just snatching it, bro. He wants it all. Mm. Big down air there. Yep. He wants the, yeah, he wants the bell bag because depending on where he is on the stage, this forward smash will kill uh, if he can catch him on the side. And DeBuzz is retreating to the sky, so get me the hell out of here. Seriously. Look at the Luma shaking. The Luma knows what's coming. Oh, God. This is that, that, <gasps> oh, no, a rare miss from T. Just a little too high for that forward smash to hit. But again, the patience being put on display, not rushing. It had that belt for so long. Almost got rewarded by getting the stock, but DeBuzz catching a little bit of a break. I feel like we never see him miss that, but not realizing that the uh, up smash was the play. Ooh, punishing the dash attack. Rare to see that happen, but he's going to pick up the belt. The Buzz trying to punish him for it, but it doesn't happen. Luma's out. What's the counter play here? He can't throw the bell at the Buzz, so he tries to go the roundabout way, and Luma has perished. All right. Trying to pick it up right now. Nice. Gets the hydrant. Four throw. Mm-hmm. Wow, kind of crazy that nobody has dropped the stock. Two and a half in. minutes in. I was just <laughs> thinking that. We're two and a half minutes in. No stocks lost. Not at all. Uh, that might be enough to do Jab it. Will do it. Okay, that's going to be Luma assisted as per usual. He taking a second to reassess. Get through those options and then right back into the battle. He just wants the bell so bad. He's prioritizing this bell. And DeBuzz is, he's not getting a lot for it. You know, he got like 7% there, mm -hmm. maybe even less. He just chained some stuff together, but... Trying to find the way through. Oh, oh God, he's he just brute forced it. Yeah, he was like, you know what? I missed the, the first time on the right side. The left side will not be a repeat of that. Let me go ahead and knock that force match out of the park. And here the opening oh. defense with the Galaga. Just douche, 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 really douche. get too much out of it, though. Not as much as he can. I mean, it's it's T, so I wouldn't be surprised if he got 90 to 100 out of it. But, yeah, not as uh, not as crazy as what we've seen before. Yeah. Oh, my God, sort of riding the wave there. That was a really weird... Uh, Pull down, it looked like, but you know, 56 to 47. Like you were alluding to, sort of at the pace this is now, we're coming into three and a half minutes. We're about the halfway point, and again, we're at about the halfway point in terms of uh, stocks, too. Yep. Um, I mean, depending on how quickly these guys go up and how quickly they're able to KO. Ooh, this is sort of the midpoint of the game. I say a lot riding on the line right now. If that bell. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Again, nice, good hit. And then you already know, like, just assesses the situation midair. Like, you know what? Find a situation. Back Up air is not going to do anything. Back air is probably not going to kill. Right on course. You already know what time it is. He don't miss. Them specials, He bro. don't miss. Them specials do not miss. And right now, the buzz maybe going to be missing having that lead right now. T. Might be missing winner's bracket I'm if he uh, keeps this I'm up, bro. I'm saying, man. Woo! This is a big game. Shield through. Nice. Oh, wow. Actually running right into the buzz. You know what's nuts? Talk to uh, whoever loses this game is going to be screwed for their next set because, like, the winner goes on to top 16. Loser has to play one more time. And this is mentally exhausting oh, this is, yeah. on both ends. This will take it out of you for sure. I would not be surprised to see whoever loses this lose to their next opponent. The amount of effort you have to expend in a match like this and then have to go into another best of five just for a chance to qualify or just to qualify for top 16. Right. That is a lot of mental effort expended. You know what I mean? Like, you are getting taxed Definitely. in that regard. So, 
Oh, excellent up smash from DeBuzz. Looking good as we approach our two minute warning. Happening right now, the melon's out. The buzz doesn't even pull it in. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm, not, I'm not going near that because he knows if he pulls it, uh, T's going to punish the end leg. Oh, but now T's starting to pull away with these forward airs. All right. He's going to want the bell soon. Oh, yeah, I think now it's probably yeah, where he's going to start trying to charge it up and get there. These melons clashing. The buzz letting this one get away from him. Almost there. Just sort of banging his head on this little ball of energy. Pac-Man's got the it bell is. out. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Game. You're going to make it that easy for him. Yep. You're right. going to make it that easy for him to buzz. Kind of surprising. Just ram right under him and well, let it rip. Well, you look at it, you know, how traditionally uh, T usually just kind of holds it for like 15 seconds, just kind of harassing, <laughs> harassing, harassing, and making yeah. it. Thing. That time just completely chucked it out. I'm like, all right, he'll never expect that. And I don't think he did. You're right. Yeah, just letting it rip so quickly on that one. Just let that thing go. And now T up 2 1 on to buzz. Like we said before, this is a huge danger zone uh, for whoever loses this match because, again, just playing at this top level, playing the way that these two do, it could be just absolutely exhausting to try to think about going into your next set, especially against an opponent that's, consider get that's consistently winning, right? Yeah. Like the, the other guy waiting in losers has won a few matches leading up to this point. So we'll see if the buzz can pull it together. We know he's super capable and know he's very talented, but does he have it in him to continue on this Winner's bracket run. Wondering what the stage is. I mean, we've seen a lot of PS2 so far, but I don't think it's a stage thing in this matchup. I mean, it's not like they're comboing each other off the platforms or getting kill confirms off like neutral air into up air. Yeah. It's just it's 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 comfort now. I don't I honestly don't think it matters like what stage you go to. Like either way, you understand you're just gonna be have to play like a little bit at a snail's pace, and then when those opportunities present itself to kind of pick out those burst options, that's when you really gotta go, go, go. Uh, just amount to anything, but the thing is, there's so few and far between. It'd be a little annoying to deal with. So stage not really the issue here. Gonna be more of a patience above all kind of deal. Let's see where we're heading to. Three, two, Small battlefield. Okay. Small battlefield. Okay, so a little bit tinier. Uh, don't know if this one's gonna threaten to go to time. Obviously, none of the games have gone to time, but they've always had that threat uh, that they might go that far. But this one's a little bit smaller. We'll see how DeBuzz wants to play this one out. Love the song choice. Don't know if he picked it, if it's random, but I just love the fact that you can get any song. I really do. Oh, no, that's a, that's a very It's good so good. <laughs> this late into the game, just being able to have some level of, like, you know, song diversity. Yep. Incredible. All right. Well, no real diversity in these character selections, man. We talked about right. the buzz can definitely bring good out a point. couple different characters, but it has been all Rosalina Luma he has been relying on. Got him a game so far, but... He wants to take this one to a fifth one and extend this set even longer. Lord have mercy. He's going to have to have a big game for him. You can see he's just beating the hell out of that. Uh, basically treating it like a ghost, like you said. Just like eating the power pellet and just eating it alive. There's the up smash. Not enough to kill, but T is starting to pull away from DeBuzz. This is the story of what we've seen all night where one player will just start to outpace the other, sort of pass them. Understand and uh, oh. Understand it, man. This is a marathon, not a sprint. And I'll tell you what. This is one that is just going the distance, as we already knew. Hydrant set up. He's looking for the Z drop with the bell. Not able to connect, but the pressure unrelenting from T. He is really putting the bus through the ringer. And that Whoa. backer is going to close it out. Only 22% taken, Coney. And, and this is not how the rest of the set went. No. There has never been a gap this large. And this might be the death knell for DeBuzz, as it just seems like this might just... I don't know, might be too large for him, especially after expending, again, all of this mental energy throughout the rest of the set. What are you going to do that's different? What are you going to bring to this game for? And I don't know what the answer is. I mean, what does Rosalina have to really steal a stock away to, to, uh, to rob Pac-Man? Yeah. Like, down air is not going to work because Pac-Man just comes back no matter what. The up airs haven't really been surprising him. And Luma is not a factor. I'm going to tell you where the turning point in this set was. It was the last stock of that last game where he just ran up and just chucked that bell at him <laughs> and just said, you know what the hell with all this patience stuff? Not scared stuff, of you, bro. I need that stock off quick, fast, and in a hurry and kind of adopting that philosophy again as he is just dominating the buzz who has no answers at the moment. Just really threatening him on this left side, the hydrant. Forcing them up and then T just meeting them with these aerials, man. So impactful. It feels like T just sort of faced his fears. He's not afraid of the buzz anymore, no. and now he's just beating him straight up in the 1v1. Um, just getting rid of that Luma, who has been a non-factor in this game in particular. Just no function 
at all. Yeah, this is uh, getting bad right there. Up smash not going to be enough to seal it up. T yet to even enter triple digits, but no way. Wow, it's the buzz ends up entering the blast zone, and he is in a terrible predicament. And you know. We've seen T win at this kind of disadvantage. Right? <laughs> I don't good think point. we've seen T ever lose them. So That's this, a very good point. Yeah, this is a lot to ask out of the buzz, and I think T pretty much has this one wrapped up, as you said, Coney. Maybe just, like, the mental exhaustion of having to go to distance like this, finally catching up to the buzz, T seeming completely unrattled. Yeah, you can see 139 here. He's going to try to find his way back up as the music starts to pick up for DeBuzz, realizing that this might be his final opportunity to stay in winners. This will be his last match of the day, but if he does get knocked into losers, he's got to play again. Yeah. T just only a little bit off. Oof. I mean, one bell, well, a little bit more damage, but and maybe like 20%, one bell might seal it. Definitely looking for it, really harassing him. Oh, dear. Yeah, oh, dear. And there's that bell. I got a feeling that one bell, this might be the one right here. You oh. see the buzz with the patience, but he can't grab the ledge. Yeah, yeah you're going to get down yep. That was a trap and a half. That's for free. I mean, like, it, again, Pac-Man doesn't have the killing aerials, but he doesn't even care. The buzz has to go for the Hail Mary, so he does. You see him try to go for that. He cannot hit that platform. That platform will kill him. So instead, he's going to go for the melon and try to escape. But all the options are wow. being limited, and he just does it. Puts a punctuation on the final stock. That's the exclamation point to end his tournament day. T has made it into top 16. Kind of wild to see, you know, really the capabilities of T. It's like, yeah, I can play this slow, patient style, but I can also ramp it up to the max as well. And you know, that tends to lead to some good stuff, so props to him. Yeah, just phenomenal play all the way through. And like you, you were saying, man, these games are a little bit slower, but it doesn't make them any less fun to watch or any less cerebral. I mean, like, you can see these guys really calculating their moves before they do anything, trying to make sure that they make the most of all their resources because these characters have very unique, distinct sort of things that they do that no other character does. 100% agreed with you, bro. Like, and, and, you know, and just T, you want to talk about uniqueness. T, as a player himself, about as unique as it gets. Sure. So well done to T, going to make it in the top 16, and we've got our 